Dad. What's up, y'all? How you doing? This is all about you. Yeah, Sagittarius, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We do a full oracle card spread here. And then over on the other side, there's always an extended link. Um, I am readjusting as we speak. There's always an extended link down below in the description box, which is a full tarot card spread that articulates this reading, expands on it, clarifies it, and your romance reading. Seven days out. Um, Sagittarius, this is for sun, moon, rising Sagittarius, or wherever Sagittarius energy influences your chart. You can apply it. Remember, if it does not fit, please don't squeeze it. We are not Cinderella stepsisters up in here, and it didn't work out for them anyway. So never try to incorporate something that doesn't work. Maybe try your rising sign, your sun sign, your moon sign. Try all three. You should really watch all three anyway, the sun rising uh, and moon sign. They're all very, very important and will influence your charts a great deal. So... Let's get into your reading. Your crowning energy has already popped out. This is energy for the next seven days, guys. If you haven't already, please do click subscribe. Uh, like this channel. Share it on other uh, social media. Um, yeah, it always helps out. Thank you so much, guys. And I'd love to have you join the journey. Let's see what your crowning energy is, Saj. Let's see what kind of reading we got for you. Oh, oh look at you. Leave it to you to, <laughs> to do things unconventionally. But that's part of your beauty. Sing your own song. We've been getting this a lot. And I actually mentioned this, I think, in um, Friday's Daily. How many, how many signs have been getting this card is amazing. Essentially, finding your voice, finding yourself, finding your confidence, finding who you are again, reestablishing that center, which is inside of you. One and two, um, that's the energy. If you add it up to three, that's the Holy Trinity, which is divine balance. It's finding, you know, that balance between what you want, what you need, and then what you believe in. And I think that it's a, a sense of sharing and talking and speaking it out loud. It's a sense of finding divine inspiration to do something creative or to build something that you've always wanted to build. <clears throat> Maybe even finding the time now too. But more importantly, it's a sense of oneself. It's having a firm grasp of who you are. It's also somebody singing your praises. Maybe somebody singing to you. Um, uh, that song uh, that came into... Um, you don't have to worry about a single thing. Just let me sing to you. That, that song comes to, to mind. It does have romantic under overtones, doesn't it? And this is just your crowning energy, Sagittarius. So, John Spiltoff, is that what his name is? I'll attach the link above if I can. I know it's on my saved videos. I love that. But this is a very joyful card. This is also Gemini energy. So, it's got a... It's about communication. It's about knowing what to say, when to say it, hearing music to your ears, being filled and surrounded by a sense of confidence so that when you share yourself or when you speak, you will speak with confidence and with grace in a way that people will listen. So Sagittarius, this is all about wonderful communication abilities this week because this is your crowning energy. So it's about say what you need to say, say what you feel inside. People will be listening and you will have the capability to say things in a way that people will want to continue to listen to you. Overcome any obstacle. This has something to do with you got to convince somebody of something. So you got to be hardcore, go after it. You just have to like have that feeling, that centeredness, that groundedness of an earth sign. This is Taurus energy, that energy of I'm getting through this. It's almost like I got to do this. I need this. They got to listen to me. They got to listen to me. I got to get them to listen to me. They got to hear me. 
Um, I need them to like, I don't know, offer me this job or listen to what I say or break through to them. This is saying what you need to say to break through, to get through, to get through to an opportunity, to get through to a person, to break through and using communication to do it. And basically you, you could even be talking somebody <laughs> like talking somebody till you're blue in the face or till until they're blue in the face using communications in a way, maybe bombarding people with content or with information, whatever it is, you're using communications to get through to somebody. It's almost like this, I could feel it inside of me. It's this need. I got to get through. I got to get through. They got to listen to me. They got to listen to me. They got to hear me. They got to see me. And at this point, Sagittarius, you being willing to do anything, you're not even thinking about what if I get in trouble? What if they don't listen to me? What if they reject me? You're just like, no, I got to do this. And you're so determined that you will find the words and will you keep you will keep going this is a energy of yes maybe even you're a little bit afraid but it doesn't matter because you've got to get to the other side no matter what something is extremely important and you got a lot of confidence here you're doing it with a jovility and a happiness and a confidence that's actually it's actually charming so it's almost like like a clown car you know with how does the clowns just keep coming out they just keep all coming out it's almost like your words are just going to keep coming out and it's going to be amusing. It's going to be entertaining. Using humor in those appropriate ways to just make somebody charmed to you. Just charm the socks off of them and break through this barrier. You have been set up. It's like this barrier has been set up and you're just like, nope, I'm dealing with this. And you have, you have the ability to use your words in order to break through obstacles that have gotten in your way this week. Open to infinite possibilities. Are you taking the center stage, Sagittarius? This is the energy of you shining like a dime. Shine bright like a diamond. This is you. Can you hear my voice? <laughs> I am not a Sagittarius. <laughs> That's true. I just, I've got a horse voice. I'm always in, in between hoarseness. So thank you for tolerating my crazy voice right now. Um, five plus nine is 14 plus five changes. Changes are coming, but I think it's changes to your social status. Making a breakthrough that makes you shine, making a breakthrough that makes you be the center stage, uh, being noticed and having people take notice of you. But it's bigger than that, Sagittarius. It's about you not letting people not take notice of you. You've got a sense of yourself this week that is just filled with confidence and filled with a, glor a glorious sense of buoyancy. <laughs> Funny, right? For Rhino, right? But overcome any obstacle. Rhino is buoyant, though. They're loving creatures. They're gentle creatures. Their awkwardness is part of their charm. And I think that that's what you're really letting shine this week. It's like you're not trying to be elegant. You're not trying to wrap yourself up in this like sort of um, uh, wrapping paper of, you know, wrap, wrapper of um, <sighs> perfection. You're not, you're not. You're using humor. I feel like you're using humor or just sheer determination and self-deprecation sometimes to just shine and people are really taking notice. People will take notice. Your efforts will matter this week. They will help you break through. So keep going, like don't give up. We have trust in divine detours. You say what you need, say, say it. Say what you need to say, say what's on your mind. Do things that you normally wouldn't do or take chances that you normally wouldn't take. And, um, say, talk to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. Tap those shoulders, like tap them on the shoulders. Be like, hey, you know, you don't know me, but you know, I know you and gosh, I always want to talk to you. So things like that. One plus six is seven. Maybe if you've had to talk, seven is that number, energy of creation. So you're, what the energy that you're in the midst of right now, Sagittarius, is something that you're still building, something that you're still creating. So it's, it, it hasn't all been answered. And so if you feel the awkwardness and you feel uncertainty, that's because the certainty is based on you. This is an energy for what are you creating right now? What are you building? Um, what are you going to be committing yourself to long term? What is it? What, what do you want? Choose. Because, 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 because. <laughs> because of the wonderful things he does as in Papa Jupiter, which is your ruling sign. Yes, Jupiter is in Capricorn now, but it's always going to be your ruling planet. So what is it requiring of you? It's requiring, hey, submit your plan, Sagittarius. What do you want? 
What do you want, Sagittarius? Submit your plans and do things that are, are unprecedented, unprecedented, things that maybe you were a little bit frightened of. or And you think of Sagittarius as being fearless and bold, and that's not always true. It's like, especially when it comes to long-term commitments. Mm -hmm. I know you know I'm looking at you. Anyway, this is essentially taking those chances that you would have been otherwise intimidated to take, or maybe... Stepping into those groups of people, those circles that you don't necessarily feel comfortable in. And it doesn't mean that you want to join those circles or be somebody that you're not. It's that you recognize the value of yourself, the abundance of your mind, and its application in any circle that you want to damn well go. And you have this confidence and you're willing to talk to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. And you're, it's going to work. Like there's some, going to be something about your charm this week. That is going to help break through. So go ahead. Take those risks that you normally wouldn't take. Because this is your energy. This is at the drop of a hat. Where are we going to go? I don't know Sagittarius. Where are we going to go? Because it's not about travel this week. It's about not about actually going someplace. It's about going someplace you normally wouldn't go. Talking to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. Taking risks that you normally wouldn't take. In terms of social circles. In terms of community. In terms of propriety and society. In terms of opportunity. Nothing is wasted. This is your central energy. And I love this central energy. Because it's about finding gold in a trash heap. It's about finding treasure in the middle of trash. This is it, trash to treasure. You seeing an opportunity that other people don't see or you understanding that there's value in something that other people had looked over. And because it's the central energy, this is you. This is your energy. People had look o looked over you. Maybe they had, you know, second-guessed you or even if they had noticed you and thought, oh, 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 oh how silly Sagittarius is. They hadn't taken you seriously. Well, guess what? This is you showing them that you're somebody to take seriously. Mm. Life is speeding up. It's going to take anything that you put into place over the next seven days. It's going to take off. It's like you're combining yourself. You're, you are sewing yourself into the, you know, 600 Egyptian thread count fabric type of thing. You are making sure that you're a part of the plot for the rest of the year. You are sewing yourself in and ingraining yourself. And once you do that, it's just going to, it's going to ride you along and take you along. Are you ready for this new adventure? Because these are places that you normally would not have gone Sagittarius. So are you ready? Because this is about finding your direction, setting in your course, because yes, as always, as soon as you set your sights on something and as soon as you open your mouth and make, even if it's the craziest thing and nobody would have ever expected it, Sagittarius, you're going to blow everybody away. You're going to impress everybody and yes, you're going to get what you want to get. So what do you want to get? What do you want to do? What's that thing that you've been blocking yourself from? You, you've been blocking yourself from, not the cosmos, you. What is that thing that you have decided that you should be counted out of or just haven't gone for? Go, do it. It's time to open your mouth into in the circles that you normally wouldn't. And I knew this card was going to come out because when I saw this card, I was thinking about this card. And I, and I started to talk about the message for this card. Love is all around, which is Sagittarius. This is a juicy, energetic time. This is energetic love swarming around you. This is like swimming in the champagne of energy for you. Suck it up. There's so much love. These are people singing your praises. These are, these are, these are, this is the world playing your tune. It's like, play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sagittarius. This is you. This is a very musical week. This is you at the center of the melody this week. This is you hypnotizing people with the way that you make things sound and them responding back to you. This is call and repeat. This is People joining in and singing with you. This is finding harmony. It could very well be also finding love in places that are unlikely, in circumstances that you never expected, with people that you don't normally mesh with. And here you find this trash and this treasure, or they find you unexpectedly, not thinking that they would ever, ever, ever combine with you again. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. But ne never would they have thought, this is your star card, this is Aquarius energy as well. I don't know if you're dealing with Aquarius or Taurus. There's a couple different signs on the table. There's Gemini twice. 
but this is an energy of somebody singing your praises something a turnaround happening that you thought maybe would never happen and it's not even something that you could ask for because you're going into this circumstance even a little bit humble a little bit like i don't want to ask maybe that's what it is I don't want to ask for too much because maybe just maybe this is a situation where I made the trash. You know what I'm saying? Where I messed it up a while ago, but now it's coming back around and you, you find this place. When you bring your joy to the table, you see that it's received with joy. It's not received with heartache. It's not received with suffering. It's actually breaking through to a circumstance that you didn't think you would be able to break through and getting love back. Whoa, bring your ideas to life. Somebody likes your ideas. I think that that's really, that's the essential part. That's the safe place to, to be right now. Four plus two, that's six. That's six. And six to me is the energy of love because it is the lovers in the, in the uh, Rider Waite tarot deck. So it's always this energy of creation. This could be babies being made. This is another one of those pregnancy, but it's like divine creation. This has more to do with actual ideas and concepts and somebody liking your ideas and concepts. And maybe it's this person that likes your ideas and concepts that you never thought would listen to you because there is a shaky past with you, but you're presenting them your ideas and they actually really do love it. They can't help but be amused with you. They can't help but be entertained by you. They can't help but like parts of you that maybe... Um, they, maybe they can't like all of you, but it doesn't matter because they don't have to. They have to like the parts of you that, that you need them to like or they need to like and understand in order to move things forward with you. You have some sort of idea, some sort of project that you want to present and it's, it's getting through. It's going to hit its mark. So aim your arrow this week. Set your target. Uh, where do you want to aim? Who do you want to aim for? It's going to land in the right place. And I tell you, it may not be about true love. It may not be about abundance, but it's about making a crack that breaks through. That's what it's about. It's about finally bursting this bubble that was sort of like sinking you or heavy over your head. It's about breaking through, charging through doors or opportunities that you before had been shut off to you. This is that breakthrough week for you. And I, like I said, it's not about, oh, we're going to get married and it's so beautiful. No, no, it's not about that. It's about, you know, maybe this, maybe this is an example. Maybe you're talking about your ex and you guys haven't talked for years, maybe because there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt. It's this energy of, but when you, when you show up and you talk to this person again, it's not going to matter. You find that, find that all the old energy drops away. And this speaks a little bit for them too, and that they're a forgiving person, right? And that they're a very open-minded person in that, you know, remarkably, they've been able to move forward and they've been able to move forward in love and that they're able to focus on really just what the idea is and what the project is instead of, you know, what had happened many, 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 many years ago, which is a sign of people actually being over it. And I think there's a little acknowledgement in you that, you know, maybe they should never have gotten over it, you know? So when you approach them, you approach them singing their praises and, and, and saying to them those, those flattering, but very sincere things of, I've just learned to respect you in a whole new way. And, um, you know, I, it's not about what I can get for you, but listen, I've got this to present. I know this is good stuff. Uh, I, this is just what I have to say. Listen, you know, listen up. And I think it's your confidence as well as your humility, your humor, um, as well as the respect that you show that it is going to break down those walls that have been placed between you and where this new opportunity is. Believe in yourself. So this is your grounding energy. This is a Virgo energy. Um, five plus seven is 12. This is more three. So there's a little, the divine is helping you this week. There they really are. They're guiding you. Trust in your instincts and trust in that little voice inside of you, that faith. Have faith. Have faith in yourself and maybe even have faith in someone else. But you're definitely planting the seeds for the future that you will eventually harvest. So Believe in your hard work because that's really what this is about. It's not about your ego. It's not about what you want. It's about what you truly believe in because you believe in it for all the right reasons. And beyond anything, that's what people are going to see. That this isn't some tonic water you're trying to sell people. That this idea has merit. And your commitment to it as well as your ability to take risks, humiliate and humble yourself 
in maybe in front of people who normally you'd embarrass yourself in front of. It's like that leap of faith and that level of conviction is showing people just how committed you are. Reclaim your power. Coming out of the dark. That's what it is. It's like, you see the light. I'm going to keep on singing my bad shit. I'm going to keep... Don't worry, the reading is almost over. Unless you buy the extended, which I hope you do. Um, but this is essentially, yeah, feeling a sense of se of grounding, a, a self of centering again. Four plus four is eight. That's in that's in destiny. What is destined? It's up. It's it's your turn right now to stand up and take your destiny. And this is a very mature energy. This is about this is about growing up and 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 demonstrating. Like, it's almost like demonstrating your accountability for the circumstances of the past. Like you're coming back and you're demonstrating that accountability. But you're also saying, I'm here now because I believe in this so much. It matters to me this much. And no matter how much of a fool you look like before, maybe you lost face before, just the fact that you're showing up even when you thought you could never maybe show your face someplace again, is a sign of courage and a demonstration of just how important this idea is. Um, and give with gratitude and grace. These are your grounding energies. Believe in yourself, reclaim your power, and give with gratitude and grace. So have confidence in yourself this week to go and say what you need to say. And yeah, not kiss, not kiss. It's not about kissing ASS. It's about... It's about demonstrating that you have respect and that you have respect and uh, uh, admiration for other people, you know, and it's like, it's like lead with your humility, Sagittarius. That's what it is. Um, and be kind to people. Six plus one, that's more energy of creation. You got to break down this wall and you're going to say whatever you need to say. And even if you are a jester and a court joker. People are just going to be so charmed that you even showed up. You have that way about you. You have that ability and nobody else has it. So use it. Hold on. I'm going to turn. I'm going to flip the camera angle around. This is a beautiful reading for you. Do you see the crowning energy of canary spirit? Sing your own song. Be yourself out loud and share those ideas with people that you thought would, would have trashed you, would never, ever, ever open up and listen to you. And, but show them that, hey, you know, I'm more than you think I am and have that kind of confidence in demonstrating that even if you hate me, you're going to love this idea. You're going to, you're going to, I'm going to, I'm like, like salvage. This is about salvaging. This is the energy of salvaging your sense of self, but also your conviction, your conviction in what is right or doing the right thing, saying the right thing and building something for the future. This is the energy of that's grounding you this week of um, being gracious, but confident and allowing that confidence in yourself to be shared with others, to be shown. You're going to have the resources that you need. You're going to be able to get the resources that you need. Seeds that you have planted maybe even years ago are starting to come to fruition in abundance because this is real harvest energy or seeds that you plant now. This is this is what I think it is. Seeds that you plant now are going to grow your power, grow your strength, cultivate your influence and help you get back, reclaim that energy and um, um, guarantee you future abundance. Like I said, what are, what I, like I said earlier in the reading, what are your plans? That's what Jupiter's asking you. What are your plans? Know that you still have power. Even though you feel like you're in a compromised state, you still have power, um, Sagittarius. You still have power. Use it to plant the seeds for the future because abundance will come into your life. This is about creation. Creation over the next seven days. Plant your seeds and have confidence to do it with your cocky, silly self. Let's see what the future holds and where you're headed as well as your romance reading for the next seven days in the extended. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.